What's up guys, Matty Ice here, and today we're going to show you some stuff on uh, my uh, master build. Uh, this is the 560, I've had it for, it's been like four years now, it's been quite a while. It's still holding up, but recently I had a failure. It was the lid switch. Yes, the uh, dreaded switch is one of the things on this that are really known to go bad besides uh, some other issues. I mean, overall, I don't have many complaints about this grill. As you can see, I do have some rusting here, but it's Ohio. I keep it covered most of the time, but honestly, that's surface rust, so it's not going to kill anything. But this switch on the lid right here, as you can see, there we go, went. And I couldn't figure it out. No matter what I did, the stupid thing would read open. And... I couldn't, you know, tell what the temperature is anymore. All I could do, even when the lid was closed, was just let it run, essentially. And I had to put a, a probe in there to figure out what the temp was. So, um, it, it was not ideal. But anyway, I always wanted to know how to bypass this, and but I never had any reason to. And then I just took the screws out of this, and I found out what the reason is. So there was reason number one, um, this is completely busted off and melted, and then reason number two, I'm gonna have to, sorry, this is hard to do when I'm one-handed, oh, come on, there's our melted gasket, so at some point it melted or got too hot or something, and she did not like the El Tempatoro, if you know what I mean, alright. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing even attached to it look at how burnt up she is now I have used this grill slash smoker and ah, look nothing um I'm sure the the wires are just dangling in here somewhere yeah, I think that's them right there actually yep here we go um not great um as you can see <laughs> we, we're uh, totally missing one of them, but uh, yeah, that's um, that's something. And I think all we have to do, honestly, to fix this is to um, pull what remains of the lead out of the switch and stick it on the other side and connect the two. If that doesn't work, I think I might try cutting these back behind the connectors and just putting a wire nut on it because honestly, the lid switch is probably the one you can get away with not having. Um, the one, I like having the one for firebox down here, it still works. And then on the top of the smokestack, very important as well. Um, whew. and guys, it is absolutely frigid today. I mean, it's not super, super cold yet here in Northeast Ohio, but it is, uh, like 29 out right now. Um, in, uh, in freedom units, uh, I don't know, in European units, what's that, like, I don't know, negative one something like that uh celsius so a little bit cold and i got my um my hardy gloves on unfortunately i didn't have carl's jr when i bought these let's tuck that one away for the dad jokes later uh okay so um let's let's try and remove this and i'll try and keep you guys out of the sun it's really hard right now because it's kind of early morning but i'm gonna put you guys down and we will work on getting this switch out all right so here is that lead that burnt off or is burnt in or something it is in there good guys i don't know if we're gonna be able to wiggle her out she seems to have melted on there pretty good and i'm working her back and forth pretty hard Oof. Yeah, i don't think that one's gonna come out all right let's try again we'll try and bend it and pull there we go it released Oh, there we go guys that was melted on there man that was pretty wicked so if you do need to do it you can and there's our lead I mean we can bend it back like I said I don't really want to order another switch I've um, I recently ordered a uh, replacement uh, ash grate for my ash bin for master built it took them three months to get it to me and every time I would call, they would just say, yep, it's coming. And they couldn't provide me shipping info or anything. So I was kind of kind of a little bit annoyed about that. All right, I'm going to turn off the power to this. And then I'm going to unplug it real quick. 
That way we don't give ourselves a rendition of the Red Green Show. I had to pull you guys out of the sunlight. It was just too much to work there on the sunlight. Here we go. So this, once upon a time, fit into here. And let's get it back. You have to get it inside the little thing. Okay, now allegedly, if we connect these together, I guess you could jump it with a piece of wire there, but I'm just trying to go for as simple as possible right now because I said it's freaking cold. And I just want some gosh dang pulled pork. And uh, I'm going to connect these together with uh, some electrical tape and see if, uh, if that's enough to get this going. So um, here I am with the electrical tape, and I'm just going to run a quick piece around it and see if it even works. I, I don't know. I might just end up snipping them. I'm no stranger to, to those... Uh, those wire nuts, I'll tell you what. Um, okay, so like I said, I'm just gonna do a nice, quick, tight loop, just twice right there, pull her off, that sealed together, and let's see if it actually turns on. I'll do this live so you guys know if I fail or not. Okay. You guys heard the sound. There's the front plate. Well, by golly, I actually can't believe that worked. I thought for sure that was gonna be a whole bunch of garbage. It makes sense. I mean, it's just an electrical connection. That's all it is. It's just checking to see, you know, that that is an, you know, a, a loop right there. So, uh, okay. Um, you know, honestly, guys, that was pretty easy. I'm gonna. Man, I thought this was going to be a longer video, uh, so I'm going to actually pull off a bigger piece and wrap that up a little bit better. Maybe when it's nicer outside, I'll do something a little bit better. I know some people like to do like a flip on off switch to replace it, and I guess that's nice, but I really don't see the utility in having a switch like that for your lid. I mean, it's nice to be able to turn it on and off, that way you don't get like a fire in your face, for example, but... There we go. I'm just... Okay, so that's wrapped up, and that should last me a little while, I'm hoping. I'm going to tuck that back up in here. And of course, now that I have that switch thing back out. Now, make sure you keep the screws, though, for your switch. That way, if you ever do want to now replace this, I'll drive those back in. But, yeah, that's what threw me off this whole time. But other than that, I think the only other thing I need to replace in here... It's going to be a little gasket right there for, you know, where your probes feed in. See, the outside's still good, but, man, the inside is, uh, guys, that's, that's looking like the, uh, the back end of Jenna Jameson, if you guys get that reference. My goodness, she's seen some better days. She's had a, she's had a little bit of the in and out, if you know what I'm saying. All right, guys, so that's how you bypass the lid switch on the Masterville 560 the 800 and that should also work on the uh, the 1050 as well very simple just you know complete that connection and if you're in a pinch you know just do it uh, you can order a switch off Amazon or wait for master built to get their act together and get you one but you know what it's not that bad it's a pretty easy fix and this way y'all can keep on smoking all right guys that does it for this one we will catch you next time and, as always, have a good night.